Hey guys, Kate Russell here, back at you with another Goodwill Bins video. Today, I went to the Goodwill Bins in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Well, actually, I guess it's up in Rogers, Arkansas. Let's get started. Here, I already have some stuff in my cart, but I just wanted to show y'all some of it and then show y'all some of the bins after. That's a new bins change, I think, in the clothes maybe that just come out. I try to avoid the new bins changes in clothes. I'll go in there for the hard goods, but Squishmallow, Beanie Boo, the little little other thing else in there I don't wind up picking that up I'm trying to show you on my cart but it won't st it, I keep putting it up against this and it keeps falling that way so I was trying to stay out of the way of the people and still show you all the stuff um, but here's some of the stuff jelly cats beanie boos a Pokemon that I put back Ninja Turtles and Five Nights at Freddy's as well you can see the Five Nights at Freddy's right there that is the not authentic one in my opinion but I think you can still sell it as long as you don't put Funko in the listing um, at least that's what I've found on ebay it'll sell for something it's not going to sell for great money but it'll sell for something at least and then i'm show you all, trying to show you all the american girl doll down there um, she's worth a decent amount of money i believe and so is the cow hat that i'm going to show you all right here let's discuss more in the summary of what they what exactly they might be worth i haven't sold any i've sold a couple items um, but none of them from this first day of the bins and here's another clip from the same day Showing y'all some more stuff. What do y'all see there? It looks like junk to me. A lot of the stuff at the bins is junk. Sometimes it's second chance items that have already been through stores. There's a Care Bear I put, don't wind up picking up. Other times it's stuff, you know, direct donations. It just depends on the bin store. To me, some, a lot of this was, that's uh, Bluey. It's from Bluey. Some of this stuff was donated directly to the bins because it wouldn't be there if it wasn't. Like American Girl's not going to make it through the thrift, thrift store. Some stuff had prices from the actual Goodwills and other stuff was just, I think, donated. So yeah, that's the stuff I pick up on day one of the bins. Here we're just going to look at a couple more things. Random plushies that I don't end up picking up. I don't recognize the brands. Other home goods, there's a TV there, or computer monitor, something like that. TVs usually don't get picked up. Pricing here was like $1.59, I think, or maybe something like that. And electronics was different. It was different for a lot of different items. Uh, clothing was a different price. Some bins, everything's the same price. And at other ones, you know, it varies based on what kind of items you pick up. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this day one of the bins. There was a Squishmallow back there I didn't wind up picking up. I don't think it was worth anything. It, some of those Squishmallows, they aren't as good as they used to be. But uh, there's some shoes there as well. They had, did have full bins of shoes, but they were, they were pretty much all left because I don't think anybody picks up shoes at this bins, at least, because there weren't very many. There was a lot of shoes, and there's an overview of the bins. So as I said in the voiceover, I went three separate days. I'm going to cover what I found in each of the three different days. I'm going to try and do it correctly. I have all the videos together. I'm not sure if I'm able to pinpoint exactly where the breaks happened, but uh, let's get started with day one. I know on day one, my best item was probably this. It wasn't shown on video, but it's a knife, obviously. <laughs> this is a pretty cool knife. Uh, it's Schrade is the brand made in Germany, I think. I'm not sure exactly, but uh, yeah. This thing's probably worth 50 to $60. It was in a random backpack that was just sitting there after everybody had already gone through the bins. I'm not sure if someone put it back, not seeing this in there, or I don't know. Sometimes uh, bin stores won't allow you to buy weapons. Um, but if you hide it, they'll never know. <laughs> in the past, they've taken laptops out of my cart at the Mobile Goodwill bins because they say, you know, it's not allowed to be sold, but they're just putting it in their specialty store for more money. Also has a little sharpening stone. So that's cool. Cool find there. Next up, this is from Bluey. Not sure this one's name, but it is from Bluey. I've seen it before in the at Walmart. So it's really not worth that much, but Bluey is a very popular TV show right now. So um, I did spend... Uh, $11.92. <laughs> Just that knife pays for the whole trip. Uh, I got Ninja Turtles, this little guy. Raf or not Raphael, Leonardo with a little pizza. He's probably not worth too much, but at the bins, you know, you can take chances on stuff sometimes. Five Nights at Freddy's, y'all saw it in there. Anytime I can find Five Nights at Freddy's, I'm going to find it. I kept looking in that same bin for more of it. I didn't find too many. Uh, this one is actually authentic. You can tell just by the tag that it's an authentic one. I will show you one in a second that is not, that I did pick up. I think I picked it up at least. Haven't gone through that bin yet. I'm just showing y'all Beanie Boos. If I find that, well, not a Beanie Boo, but a Beanie, this is probably a Beanie Baby. It needs some cleanup. But if I pick those up at the bins, I'm going to pick them up. A Jelly Cat Bunny, green. I don't think it's really worth too much. There's some bunnies that are worth a ton of money. I don't think this is one of them, but if it is, I'll show y'all. Hopefully some of this will be, well, actually none of this will, none of this will be sold because I'm making the video right now. Um, this one is Pixie, the uh, sequin unicorn. So obviously none of these have been listed yet. <laughs> Grace the Ghost, I think that's her name. You're not going to be able to see her name because she doesn't have her tag. 
neither tag. She's not her tush tag or her uh, uh, hang tag, but I know she's a Squishmallow. Price, it'll, I'll probably list it now, but it'll probably sell closer to Halloween. This is the one I'm talking about that is not authentic. That is the tag. <laughs> Has plastic eyes. And, well, this one's the... Uh, I can't remember this one's name. <laughs> but he's definitely not authentic. But I might still be able to sell him as long as I don't put Funko... As long as you don't put Funko in the listing, I think you can still sell him. Um, but I'm not positive. So don't quote me on that. This one is Glamour... Nope, Tasha. And then this one... It's also another different version of a fake, I believe. Obviously, it might not be put true, but I think it's a fake. <laughs> 2016 is the tag. This one was not produced in 2016 at all, and it it just looks fake. It's not the same size as that other one. Um, but I still bought it anyways just because it was cheap. I did get some other Ninja Turtles as well. This one, I don't remember. I don't know all these guys' names, but... Uh, well, this one's Michelangelo. I know the turtles. I don't know the bad guys. This one's... It's not Shredder, because Shredder's a different one. And this one as well. So, got some Ninja Turtles toys. Um, uh, did y'all... Y'all saw the American Girl doll? She might actually be worth a decent amount of money. Um, I'm still in the process of looking her up. But based on what I looked up, she actually might have some value to her. Um, she does need a little bit of cleaning around her face. Um, but, yeah. And she needs cleaning right there. But, American Girl at the bins. I will take that every day. All day. A cool find was this cow hat. Now you say why? Anytime you can see a script like this, it can you it can have some value to it. I'm not guaranteeing this has any value to it, but I think it has a little bit, probably 30, 40, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, I'll have to do some comp look up before I actually list it. Don't worry, I won't list it too cheap. Um, but you can't even see the brand. That's how worn that tag is right there. And then oh, another one, another turtle. I think it's Ninja Turtles. Another Ninja Turtles bad guy. <laughs> and then I got a little train set as well. It did work. I actually turned it on. It did work. See? So I'm not sure the va exact value on this, but based on the comps I was looking at, it was worth picking up at the Goodwill bins. And you can part it out, too. You can sell the part, the pieces differently. Like, this is a little polar bears on drums. Um, this one was like a, a reindeer stick, and I'm not sure if he's, how, how he works. But, yeah, that's it for day one of the bins. So day two, I'm going to show you all the craziness of the clothes. It wasn't too bad, but it was pretty packed full of people going after the clothes. I think I picked up one clothing item at the bins, and it wasn't anything that great. Uh, I don't even show it in the summary. There's a doll, for some reason, in the clothing. I guess someone picked it up thinking it was American Girl. It was like our generation or something like that. They wound up putting it back, but there's everybody sorting through the clothes. <laughs> I'm just not a big clothes person. I know some people go to the bins only for clothes. That's a last resort for me. If I'm going for clothes, then that means I'm really desperate to find items, because... I'll sort through the bins for two or three times before I go look at the clothes. <laughs> uh, sometimes you never know what you're going to find. I think I find one or two items um, after I've already gone through the bins once. You know, you, you wind up digging further under. Because whenever you're first going or whenever a new bin comes out, you're mainly going for stuff that you know. So if you, like, dig under, you can find some more smaller items. Like, I think at this bins, I'm actually about to show y'all. I find these amount of smalls. Like, um, I think it's Little People branded stuff. Usually for those, I just lot them up in a big lot and put them on eBay, and eventually they'll sell. That little plushie, I did mind picking them up. The huggy puppy, I think I, I think I did put them in my cart at one point, but right there I just throw them back. Here's my cart so far. Uh, like I said, a bunch of little people, little animals. The the doll I wind up putting back, she wasn't worth anything. Uh, I think she was just our generation or Batat or City Toy, one of those random brands. The red tail hawk is kind of cool. Uh, that. Plush has already just listed it yesterday or today. The little wolf, he is not listed yet. <laughs> I have sold one or two of the items. I'm not sure if it was from this. That was a Cabbage Patch dog. It did actually work when you press the heart. So that was kind of cool that it still worked. You can make sure it works, obviously. You know, sometimes if you're a Ben's expert, you can come. Uh, that tractor already sold, actually. Speaking of things that sold, 47 bucks for that tractor. I'm not going to talk about it in the summary because I filmed the summary before I listed the item. But now I'm doing the voiceover the next day. Those Crocs were actually decent. I did pick them. I did wind up picking them up. I think I put back the Spideys. Those books I picked up, the Arkansas something, looked like it had some value to it. The Ping hat also. The Philmont hat actually already sold for $25 plus shipping on eBay. So two of the ones from this trip sold. Some Beanie Boos. I will always pick up Beanie Boos. Isabelle is actually worth a decent amount. She hasn't sold yet. but uh, And then Kiki and Pele, I think is that one's name. I think I put back Tigger. 
those shoes, that's all throwback stuff. I looked up the brand and it just wasn't worth it. Shoes is something I don't I don't pick up as often as I used to. If I'm at the bins and I find a good brand, obviously I'll pick it up. I find some Nikes or you know some other brand that's worth a lot of money or boots that are worth some money. I'll pick them up at the bins, of course. But in general, I try to avoid shoes nowadays because they just take up a lot of space. And either I'm not good at pricing them or I'm just not I'm good at looking up. I don't know what it is, but I, I've seemed to have a lot of shoes that just sit there and don't ever sell. I like hats because they're easy to ship, easy to store, and also cheap at the bins. Hats are not going to cost much. Those Ugg boots, they might have been worth it. I think there was something wrong with them that, I, if I remember correctly, maybe a hole somewhere or something. Um, but no one else picked them up either. So this was way after those bins had been pulled out. So that's why I decided to pass on the Ugg boots. And that's moving on to the next clip. <laughs> this is a jelly cat as well, like a jelly cat purple bunny with lavender. Uh, that's more Ninja Turtles stuff. As you saw in day one, I found Ninja Turtles. Well, day two, I also found Ninja Turtles. That's cool. I think, I think this is all, I think this is day two footage. <laughs> I'm not sure this might be day three. Uh, but I'm going to show you all this clip anyways as part of day two because it's mainly just showing that and then showing some more bins. So this is more bin stuff. That's a bin of toys kind of. Usually they try to somewhat put like toys in one bin, electronics, appliances in another, bags and purses in another, and then shoes. And then obviously clothes are a completely separate section, so clothes go in a different section. Here's a summary of what I've filmed. So this was day two of the bins. Y'all saw all the little smalls I had in that little container. Well, I did pick up a decent amount of them. One little car I picked up is this. This is Robo Dog from Paw Patrol. I'm not sure if it has any value, um, but I picked it up just in case. The comps look like it might have a little bit. And then a bunch of little people. I think that's what these are. Yeah, little people. Various things. And I also did get a couple other Paw Patrol. Uh, these two. There was some guy that was looking for Paw Patrol for his little kid. So I was looking for... Oh, this isn't Paw Patrol. That's Bluey. <laughs> This is Bluey, but the others are Paw Patrol. Um, so I picked those up. I think I meant to put them back, but oh well, they're mine now. Sometimes you, if you go to the bins a lot, you can make you know lots of stuff like that, but I don't go th that often. Um, I picked up a little Finance at Freddy's. Got one. This is Baby Finance at Freddy's. I think these were from a Monopoly. I parted out a Monopoly game. These are like Monopoly Junior little tokens for the Monopoly. I think, if I remember correctly, that's where those came from. And then there's... A bunch of little people animals and Noah, Noah's Ark. There's another bluey right there, so I did get two blueys. But yeah, those are all the smalls. Let's move on to the bigger items. Cabbage Patch, it does actually work. <laughs> I don't think it's too old. Um, it's 2015, so yeah, not that old. But Cabbage Patch doll, dog, probably worth a little bit at least. Uh, I got some Crocs. <laughs> These yellow Crocs I picked up. They were size 11, so actually they might fit me. Lucky Charms is one of the charms. <laughs> I think that's what they call them as charms. Jimmy Old School Flips loves these for some reason. Uh, so, Jimmy, if you know... <laughs> if you want some yellow ones, I'm not sure your shoe size. Uh, another Jelly Cat. <laughs> Funny enough, I found another one that day. This uh, bunny with floral ears. It's not actually worth too much. I think 20 to 30, somewhere in that range, if I remember. Y'all saw the wolf. Douglas Cuddle Toys. Sometimes those can be worth, sometimes they're not. I picked it up just in case. This one is Kiki. Beanie Boo. I did get some hats. Philmont Ranch. I never did that as Boy Scouts, but some of my friends did. So I picked it up just because it was a cool hat. Uh, probably, I think it's a vintage hat. Also picked up a ping hat. I think this one's probably 20, somewhere in that range. So cool ping hat. Um, Red Tail Hawk. Wild, Rep I don't know if it's Wild, Rep yeah, it is Wild Republic. So Red Tail Hawk, I already have the listing for that. Just need to take the pictures. Sometimes when you're at the bin, <coughs> when you're at the bins, you can you know go ahead and create the listing. And then you gotta go back and take the pictures later. This is a cool tractor, Farm All McCormick, which makes like food, I think. <laughs> uh, but obviously they need a tractor to get that food. But yeah, cool little tractor there. It does weigh a decent amount, so that probably cost the least amount of my uh, my budget for that one. Another turtle on a different day. I got some random thing. I'm not sure what these were, but the comps looked like they might have some value. Jadore, Jadore. I don't know. Pick them up. They're mine. This one actually had some value. Isabella, I think was her name. Well, no. I thought one was named Isabella. Oh, there we go. This is Isabella. Yeah, Isabella had some value, like thirty dollars, even in the poor shape that she's in. Uh, for some reason, she I think she's Justice exclusive, so she had some value to her. This one is Pele. I don't think it's really worth too much. And this one's Slush. Yeah, Slush. 
And, oh, another turtle. Two more turtles. Turtle figures. These two. And then this little purse. I heart my cat. <laughs> That's a cool little, uh, like, I don't know what you call it exactly, but it's like made out of the back of blue jeans. So it's like a blue jean pocket made into a purse that unzips. So pick that up. I don't know if I'll actually sell it or not, but yeah, that's it for day two. So day three, anybody want a bike? <laughs> I'm not sure how they would have priced that if I decided to get it. Here is day three, Elsa, Dory, little Beanie Boo. That one's a bigger Beanie Buddy, I think, and some other random Beanie Boos in there as well. Uh, I picked those up because they're super cheap and I can lot them up together. That's what I like to do with Beanie Boos is lot them up together or find another way to sell them. There's a Squishmallow right there. If y'all see him, a Hug Me Dinosaur right there. <laughs> He's a Valentine's. This was after Valentine's Day though, so technically, you know, he might take a little while to sell, but you never know. Sometimes they sell right away. It just depends on the brand of Squishmallow and if they're sought after or not. Keep sorting through the bins here looking through, just showing y'all what you have to go through. I'm not wearing gloves, obviously. I I guess I kind of was prepared to go to the bins because I was planning to go when I was up in Arkansas, but I wasn't sure if I was going to go or not. There's a big Spidey. I don't wind up picking him up just because space in the car. I had the Camaro because I'm trying to keep the, the mileage in the Camaro and the Mazda the same, kind of. And I know I'm going to be taking the Mazda probably up to the Highway 127 sales again this year, so I decided to use the Camaro for this trip because I wasn't you know, going to be carrying too much stuff. Uh, Cause I was only going to the bins and you can kind of control what you buy at the bins. You can at the garage sales too, but it's harder to when you're to see a good deal and you know, you have the capacity of a Mazda to put it in. So moving on the big fire truck, there's a little dump truck there. It's all like, those are all like kids or preschool toys. So I don't wind up picking them up. You know, it's just not worth my time to pick something that big up and ship it unless it's going to sell for over probably my threshold for that would probably be $50 including shipping added in i do pick up that little guy little me i guess that's a lovey blanket kind of sort of uh it was didn't weigh anything and it had its i think it sold for like 15 to 20 something like that so you know if it's if it sells somewhat fast and it's small and weighs a little then i'll probably pick it up but yeah this dr seuss grinch i'll end up putting him back uh, i've never sold that one too great the pan the batman guy i do put him back as well just the comps that i looked up weren't worth it and moving on to the next clip, uh, Shrek. I pick up Shrek, <laughs> showing y'all kind of some more stuff I picked up. Shrek, I think that was Bugs Bunny in there with a the little life preserver. Tiger tail toys, white tiger. Pick up some plush here, obviously. I always pick up plush at the bins because they're super cheap. My stores around me have gone up, way up on pricing of plush. They charge like $2 each now or $1, just depends. But I used to get four for a dollar or four for $2. It's hard to get that anymore. There's a bunch of Beanie Babies in here. I'll pay homage to the Beanie Babies. I do pick up one Beanie Baby that I'm going to show. I just wanted to show you all the Beanie Babies here. <sighs> they were left. <laughs> no one picked them up. At least the people at the bins knew that Beanie Babies really weren't worth much money anymore. And my cart's sitting there all alone. <laughs> all alone. That's where they were the other day. All the c people were. But yeah, I, pick, I can't remember. I don't think I picked that up. I think I put it back. I do pick up the little dolls, Belle, Anna, and Elsa. And the Squishmallow as well. A Hug Me Guy, I pick him up just... I don't know why I pick him up and I let pass on that hat. Couldn't recognize signatures. All right. So day three of the bins. These aren't all consecutive days. I did skip a day or two and stayed at, uh, stayed home on one of those days just to take a break. But, uh, I found the first thing to show y'all is this Barbie. I've been parting these out recently. Barbie Dreamhouse Elevator. This is an older one, um, from, I don't remember what the date was on it exactly, but this thing was worth, um, 40, maybe 30 to 40, somewhere in that range. It's a cool little item to pick up. Um, there was a big jar of dreamhouse there and I didn't obviously want to pick that up. So I was looking for parts and pieces too. I didn't really find too many parts and pieces, but I did find that. Um, uh, also another Squishmallow, this little dino, uh, it's Valentine's. So I found it right after Valentine's day. So I don't know if it'll sell, uh, it'll, it'll sell eventually, but it might, might've been better to get it before Valentine's day, obviously. Um, another boy scout item or cub scout, maybe this little Sa uh, sash or hank i don't know what it's called exactly uh but it's tiger scout don't know if it really has any value to it but i did pick it up uh this is like hug me brand stuff the little one's probably not worth too much but if i find a big one i can light it up with that uh this little guy was dollar 99 at goodwill <laughs> on one two of 24 so i don't know when they pulled it but uh yeah little ghost so he might not have too much value he's mumford but I only paid like, you know, 30, 40 cents for him probably when you consider the cost. I think I paid $13 at this trip. 
$13.41 plus a clothing item, so $15 total. I don't have the clothing item on me to show y'all. This little wolf, it does actually make noise. It's from Bass Pro Shops. So it did work, which is why I picked it up. Ramsey. I don't know why I picked up the Peace Bear, just for good, for fun. Y'all saw all the Beanie Babies that were in that tote. I think I were in that bin. I think I showed y'all. I just picked up Peace Bear just because at one point he was the most popular. Probably still is one of the most popular. Uh, Adventure Planet. This is like a meerkat, maybe? I'm not sure exactly what kind of animal it is. I don't know why I picked it up. <laughs> Elsa doll. I picked her up because I <coughs> also picked up a couple other ones. Well, I think I did. I found it, another Kiki on the same day. Or on the next day, magic, and then this little new, uh, squirrel. He'll need a bath, but yeah. Moving on. This little black dog is Ty, T-Y, Beanie Buddies, or plush plushies. I don't know. Sometimes the bigger ones can sell. He had a decent sell-through rate. The narwhal right there. This hat actually had a pretty good sell-through rate. It's a Walmart hat, bucket hat. I think it sells for $30, close to $30 at least. Uh, Shrek. <laughs> Not really too much value to Shrek. This little cat, I picked up uh, Morticia. I'm always going to pick up Beanie Boos at the bins. Just what I do. Uh, this one is Bubbly or Bubby. Elsa. Doll. I don't think she's... She is tight, actually. She's T.Y., yeah. She has the glass eyes. Or not glass eyes, whatever. Plastic eyes. And she did have a... Yeah, there she has a tag right there. Elsa. Got this white tiger just because I have a collection going of these. Uh, this was the smaller one, but tiger tail toys have actually sold pretty well for me in the past. Um, even when it's not a tiger. <laughs> this is just a brand. Sven tie, so I can lop that up with Elsa. This Playmobil guy. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, another jelly cat. This one is a poodle. This actually had some value too. <laughs> I looked at this, this one up because like, there's no way this lovey has a... Sometimes loveys can have value. It's not worth too much, but... Hopefully, I'll see the sale for it. It's coming up. Paw Patrol, a random character I've never seen, so I picked it up. This Squishmallow is a squid, I think, or maybe something else. I don't know. Um, a Wormy Pig, <laughs> Dory. I thought I got, oh yeah, there we go. Let's see, I thought I had a couple more. Anna, Anna and uh, Belle, these two dolls. You can lot these up with Elsa, probably. The Elsa doll that was in there. And last but not least... <laughs> Kind of anticlimactic. A cutie car. Shopkins cutie car. A lot it up. There is actually another piece in there. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Decent amount of stuff for three days of sourcing at the bins. I had a lot of fun going up to see my niece and nephew and brother and his wife. So it was a fun little... I spent like a week up there. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, hope to do it again somewhat soon because the bins are fun to go to. And yeah, uh, don't forget to leave a like if you're not subscribed or leave a comment <laughs> and a like and subscribe now subscribe. Thanks for watching if you made it this far.